Well, hi, hello, and welcome to the Gracious Gas Show. And, uh, oh man, uh, I am your host, by the way. If you forgot, if you forgot what I sound like, this is it. And I, I hope, gracious gang, you, my beloved listeners, I hope you haven't forgotten what I sound like at this point. I also hope that you're not, if you did, you know, or if this is your first time turning uh, this show on, tuning into this show, you're not sorely disappointed because you somehow expected me to have some sort of booming, amazing, you know, baritone voice and you just get this kind of quasi-nasally tre- uh, uh, tenor kind of thing. Hey, look, I am who I am. That, that's all I can say. And, uh, and you know, just got to go with what we got. So anyways, uh, as you have no doubt seen by this point, the title of this particular episode says it all. Where have I been? And in fact, just before I started uh, recording this today, I went back and looked, uh, and just to double check at the uh, the show list, and the last time I did an episode of this show was April 26th. Uh, I am very sorry for that. There's really no excuse for that, although uh, let me take a swig of this uh, this this delightful little glass of um, cranberry wine from State College, Seven Mountains Winery. Uh, they don't pay for, for anything on this show, but I just want to give them a, a little plug there. So definitely get some of this if you're of age, and uh, that's 21, by the way. But um, I'm going to take a little, just a little sip of this and then continue to tell you my story. So hold on one second. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So, where have I been? Um, April 26th, uh, the last episode of this program, which, by the way, you know, usually focuses on the wonderful. If there's anything that I'm kind of hoping to do with it, it's just, you know, to press pause and think a little bit deeper, you know, or think at all. Sometimes we don't think at all about, you know, things that fill us with wonder, things that fill us with joy or uh, a little bit of the unknown, the mysterious. And I'm not talking about like coast to coast AM kind of, you know, I saw an alien in my yard last night kind of stuff. Although that is rather interesting. And uh, I must say I am a fan of ancient aliens, uh, but not like in a serious way, I suppose. So that's not what I'm doing here. Uh, this isn't so much about conspiracy theories or, or um, the uh, uh, somewhat sketchy. This This is a lot more about, you know, philosophy culture, theology even, uh, from time to time. And sometimes, you know, on the surface of it, just just a fun little moment to think about uh, a new movie or a book or something that I've come across in my life day to day that, you know, I think is worth sharing with people about uh, because it, it makes you think maybe about life or has a special meaning to you and uh, it's just a kind of a way to share with you uh, what's going on uh, in my life and uh, usually a little bit more big picture stuff. But today it's going to be more of the first. So... Once again, where have I been? It's been a little over two months since I have been at this microphone, and that is because it was a crazy two months. So not to put too fine a point on it, but May, some of the highlights in May um, were we had the the incredibly awesome culmination of my wife's six-year PhD program. So she got her, uh, she defended her, her dissertation, and officially got her PhD back in the the sort of first half of May. Then right on the heels of that, we headed to Philadelphia for my brother Joe's uh, college graduation. He's in the seminary, and uh, specifically he's in the he was in the college seminary. Where if you're not familiar with with that, um, if you're not um, Catholic, or even if you are Catholic and, and haven't ever really known how that works, that's basically if you're in your college years or, you know, you don't have a bachelor's degree yet, you're essentially in a bachelor's degree program. And there's a lot of versatility within that, just like you'd have anywhere else. A lot of different uh, things you can major in. Um, So that's sort of academically, you know, you can kind of focus on a lot of different things to get your bachelor's. But the sort of structure of life, where your dorm is, day-to-day life and requirements and stuff like that, is in a, um, a seminary mode and, and ultimately preparation for the priesthood, you know, so he would have daily prayer several times a day and a lot of community stuff, service, you know, the community service to the church and um, a lot of uh, just really awesome stuff that, that he gets to do every day. So 
he continues on now. Uh, he got his um, his bachelor's degree. I can't remember. I don't know if he got magna cum laude or summa cum laude, but he did very well either way. And I'm very, very proud of my brother Joe. And uh, Joe, if you hear this, congratulations yet again. So, uh, you know, keep it up. So he's now on his summer assignment. It's uh, Right now, I'm, I'm recording this uh, on July 5th, uh, 2018. So we just had the 4th of July. And, um, you know, so Joe is basically right now at the time of this recording doing his summer assignment at a local uh, Catholic parish where he's kind of, you know, it's his first summer of doing that, like of, of actually being in a parish and kind of having day-to-day -day stuff he has to do and, and kind of shadowing, and, and it's like an internship as well. So uh, he's really enjoying that by all accounts. Um, so th that was just part of May. I also helped out with a pledge drive for Holy Family Radio, the, the Catholic radio station in the Harrisburg area that I, I um, am involved with. And uh, what else? Uh, the school year ended. Uh, we had, you know, finals. We had seniors uh, last few weeks. We had commencement. We had all the end of the year festivities. And since it was my last year at St. Joseph's Catholic Academy, there was a lot of stuff I had to do to, you know, get uh, all sorts of files saved and figured out what needed to go and what could stay, what I needed to pass off to my successor. We had a lot of meetings. We had a lot of pass off stuff. It was just crazy. Uh, the school itself is going through a lot of transition, so that was keeping us busy. And uh, then, I mean, right on the heels of that, we were basically packing. So my wife and I were preparing for the move. She was job hunting. We uh, we finally loaded up a 26-foot U-Haul truck with everything in the world that we own, which pretty much filled it, which we were a little surprised about, <laughs> to make the move back to uh, my old hometown of Dillsburg, which is where we're at right now. So, um so yeah, we're home. We wanted to be in the greater Harrisburg area, uh, to be back around our families, and um, so it was. It was you know it was hard. We had to leave uh, friends behind, you know, and um, you know certainly made a lot of friends over the last couple of years in State College, and we, it's really the, you know honestly it's like our second home. So we we started out there. We have a great uh, love in our hearts for all things State College and Penn State, and the good news is it's about two hours, a little less than two hours, right up the road. So it's not too far away. Those of you in the gracious gang who may be listening to this right now and you know who you are, um, I will be back. I'll be through the area every now and then and uh, just keep an eye out. And I'll say hi if I see you. Hopefully you'll say hi if you see me. Um, and if you've never met me before but you're in the State College area and you recognize my voice, say hi. Come on over and say hi. That's, that's not creepy at all. Uh, well, I don't know, maybe a little. <laughs> that's, that's totally fine. So anyways, um, so that's kind of what was going on um, in, in very practical ways. And so, like I said, it's July 5th right now. And honestly, it's just been so crazy with... Uh, oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention, in the middle of all of that, too, I've been doing um, my final semester for my grad program in uh, theology and uh, Christian ministry through Franciscan University of Steubenville. So they have a, a great uh, distance learning, you know, online um, master's program. And I'm doing my final two courses. And they're they're great, but they've got a pretty heavier work heavier workload than some of the other classes I've had have been I, I which is good uh, but it also is, uh, makes it extra hard when you're moving and you know you have a 18 month old running around you set a box down and you're like okay I'm going to open this box and look in it and by the time you get the box open your daughter is like on a china cabinet you know or found scissors somewhere you know that you didn't even know you owned so it's 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 been a pretty wild ride. So uh, at any rate, it's it's pretty cool. It's coming along. It's starting to feel a little more like home each day. And, um, you know, I'm um, right now kind of doing some job hunting myself. You know, I'm in this transition mode. So, you know, it's, it's honestly, we're, we're so busy every single day. Like you can fill the whole day up with just unpacking or moving stuff around, getting stuff, you know, cleaned up and situated and, you know, okay, that's, no, that doesn't work there. I got to try somewhere else with this thing. Where is that thing that we've been missing for weeks? It's in a box somewhere. So, that, you know, that's, if you've never moved before, you know, it's, it's always a little more, well, it's a little more tricky. I don't say it's a, it's a lot more. It's always trickier than it seems at first and a little more involved. <laughs> and uh, it's it's sort of it's over when it's over, and you don't know when that'll be. So uh, we're two weeks into it so far, and uh, doing okay, but also you know pretty tired. And um, I really wanted to. There were a few times in the last two weeks I was getting the microphone out to do something, and I was just like, oh, like something else came up, and I just I couldn't prioritize it. But um, my wife Christine was very generous today, and and uh, made sure to help pave the way here for me to have 
you know, 10 or 20 minutes to just kind of put this together, if nothing else. So, <laughs> uh, any, at any rate, uh, it's so nice to be back. And uh, stay tuned also on the uh, website over at thegraciousguest.org for um, some more blog posts. I've been putting a few up here and there last couple weeks on some different topics. Um, and I want to um, pick it back up here with uh, the podcast as well. So I've got some fun topics I've been planning for a long time. And uh, I thought I'd just give you a, a kind of a heads up about what we have coming up. So you can kind of be aware of that. Uh, at some point, and this isn't in any particular order, so I'm not giving uh, episode numbers to these yet. But, you know, in the next, I'd say, you know, half dozen episodes or so, here's some of the things you can look forward to. Some of the topics I've been thinking of doing. Um, the first one uh, is called Space Isn't Space. And the second space is in quotation marks. And that's just something um, I've always been, even since I was a little kid, I, I've always been fascinated by... Uh, astronomy and space, outer space stuff, science fiction. I'm not really a hardcore science fiction fan per se, I, I, I don't think. But, um, you know, there's, uh, it's just so fascinating to me um, how the, when you step out there, the bigger you think and the further out you look, just, you, know, you want to talk about wonder. I mean, just look up at the night sky in Arizona, okay? <laughs> um, and just, you know, seeing those stars, thinking, and just letting your mind wander about, um, what's out there, what could be out there, all those kinds of things. And, uh, you know, I want to talk about that a little bit next time. Or, well, I think next time I will actually do, do that one. But that's, that's a topic, you know, space isn't just what's, you know, we say space, what do you think of? Well, it's emptiness, right? That's the stuff that's not there. I don't really think of space that way anymore. Or rather, uh, the heavens, I think, is a better, uh, more classic way to describe what's going on out there. It's truly magnificent. I just wanted to share on that a little bit. Um, I also want to review uh, Shusako Endo's book, Silence. There was a movie that came out um, at the time of this recording, came out about a year and a half ago, a uh, movie of the same name with Liam Neeson, um, Andrew Garfield, and um, oh, who else was in that? Oh, my gosh. Um, Adam Driver also was in that. So um, that uh, I didn't see the movie. I read the book, and I, I want to actually specifically do a little review on the book itself, just give you some, some thoughts on that. Um, and, uh, you know, just some ideas, some, some sort of perspective on it maybe it might be interesting to you. Also, uh, I want to talk about The Sandlot, the movie The Sandlot. You remember that? Um, may, you maybe remembered it um, if you were sort of around my age. It was kind of a nostalgia piece growing up, you know, but, uh, well, nostalgic for its own sake, but it was nostalgic from, the, from for like a 60s standpoint taking place in, I think, 1962, I want to say, the movie mostly takes place in came out in the early 90s, and it's just a classic, and it's a lot of fun. But I really wanted to think about that in the context of uh, a little Catholic connection here that might interest you. Whether or not you're Catholic just might be kind of interesting to know. Um, the role of relics and artifacts, um, and, well, pilgrimage, really. You know, like the idea of a pilgrimage, the idea of relics. Why is that stuff so important to Catholics? Um, actually, I think you get a lot of it in the Sandlot, funny enough, and I'd love to share that with you. Uh, as well. So I'm also going to start a series pretty soon um, on, hoping to, I'm still thinking about it, on, you know, wonder again as our overall theme for this show, on um, different wonderful things. <laughs> you know, uh, I did a while back my top 10 uh, doorways to wonder. In other words, kind of categories in my day to day life that, you know, at least in my experience, tend to trigger those moments of wonder and awe. And that moment where you just sort of stop and you're like, wow. You know, and you just kind of are mesmerized for a second, you know? And uh, so I went through that, and that's a couple episodes back if you want to check that out. But I want to go more specific, actually, and do a series on things like, you know, my top five. Top three or five. I, mean, I don't want to overdo it, but, you know, like top three or five, like, well, wonderful movies, wonderful songs, books, trips, life moments, memories, uh, favorite dishes, I don't know, things like that. So, um, and then last but not least, I got one coming up pretty soon. I think I'm going to do it for episode 50. So Mike's top five show host lessons learned. Um, and that's just me reflecting a little bit on, uh, you know, for what it's worth, if you're interested on, um, you know, because some people ask me about this or how, do, you know, like, what's it like? Or how do you think of all these different things to do? Or, you know, um, when you're hosting or when you're recording something, when you're interviewing somebody, like, what are different kinds of things to think about uh, when it comes to... Um, you know, doing show host kind of stuff or, or show produ production. And you know, what are some lessons learned? What are some areas where I think I, I know I definitely still need to grow uh, as a uh, as a show host? Areas that I think I have grown a lot and, and, you know, I'm sure still need to continue to grow, but maybe areas where I've noticed growth. 
uh, things that I've I've kind of learned maybe the hard way, things that someone else taught me. It's a huge important thing sometimes where you either directly learn it from somebody who, who is like a mentor to you or you kind of pick it up from someone you don't know but someone you listen to a lot. Like a um, if you want to be a baseball player and you really study good baseball players, you know, you want to be a good football player, you're like, what? well, what do the guys in the NFL do? Like how do you try to... Um, be excellent, and I think excellence is a big is a big thing. Magnanimity, trying to be great, and that doesn't mean being egotistical or being a jerk. You know, you don't want to do that. Um, and uh, you know, but but by the same token, striving to be excellent, to be you know, if you're going to do something, you know, do it well. Try to do it as best as you can, um, and to continue to grow in that. So um, that's something I want to do. It's something I strive to do. Something to think about. So at any rate, that's uh, kind of all I have here for today on this episode of the Gracious Guest Show. Just wanted to catch up with you, tell you guys I missed you all, and uh, feel free as always. You know, check out the website thegraciousguest.org. There's a contact form on the bottom of the page there. If you scroll down, you can shoot me a message directly through the website if you want to get in touch, ask any questions. Uh, and this is I, I always advise this, or, or well, I advise it. I, I ask for it if you want to uh, give me ideas. Tell me what you think might be interesting to kind of look at on the show, or if you want to ask me if I've read a, a certain book or movie or something that maybe I haven't, you know, and, and I can go look that up or check it out because I, I want this to be more, you know, conversational as best we can. Uh, and let me know, too, what you think about. I'm thinking of maybe getting a guest on here every now and then just to maybe talk about stuff, change it up a little bit instead of it always being me. So at any rate, we'll think about that a little bit. So thank you so much for tuning in to the Gracious Guest Podcast. I'm your host, Mike Creevy. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please tell your friends about the show. Go, go over there on uh, iTunes if you haven't already, and uh, you know, go ahead and give me a good rating. Uh, please, a good one, um, if uh, if it's true, you know. But go over there and give me a good rating over there, or you know, help boost the show a little bit, spread the word, get your friends subscribed. And uh, the great thing about this show, as always, is you know, all sorts of different topics. So you know, you like one, you don't like the next episode, whatever. Like take you know, take your pick, and uh, hopefully, I'll see you next time on the Gracious Guest Show. And until then, don't forget to wonder. Take care.